Welcome to the Say Yes to God devotional podcast. Again, April 21st. Then God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know that you have done this in the integrity of your heart, and it was I who kept you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not let you touch her. Genesis chapter 20, verse 6. Abimelech, king of Gerar, maintained his innocence, but only because God kept him from crossing the line. Abraham had slipped in a half-truth to protect himself by making others think that he and Sarah were not married. In that culture, Abimelech could have taken her to be his wife or concubine. But God guarded the truth and preserved Abimelech's innocence. But Abimelech then faced another decision. In retaliation, he could have flexed his kingly muscle and sent Abraham on his way without Sarah, even if he had no intention of being intimate with her. But after affirming his innocence, God told Abimelech to return the man's wife, verse 7. He must obey all the way if he was to obey at all. Obeying is not measured in degrees. 90% obedience or doing God's will up to a point is not really obedience. As we enjoy the blessings of past obedience, let us say yes to him again and again. So here's your next yes to God. Are you using any past acts of obedience to excuse present sin?